money you want. Now you're in trouble. Monster Boy! I won't let you fight alone. Are you sure you can do this on your own? Protego Totalis! I'll get you for this. Incendio! I won't let you fight alone. I'll patch you up. Get home to look at my going. You've got this. Potato Total. Troll. Monster Book. I'm always fancy, my. All right, everyone. We're in it together now. What would you know about friendship, Cassandra? I know who I can trust, Daniel Page. Is everyone all right? Nothing a good healing spell can't fix. Stand still, Daniel. Epiphany! Thanks. And thanks for sticking by me. You must think I'm loony for starting a fight over nothing. Cassandra's old talk. She doesn't know anything. Actually, I think she does. About my family. The truth is, most of them are in prison. It filled my family with the bloody pages and papers. That That's why I like it here. Nobody knows who I am. It's my secret. This is from a muggle newspaper, isn't it? Yeah, Dad's a muggle. My older brother Reggie, he's a squib. They're both in a muggle prison. It's just me and my older sister now. What about your mother? Wait, I do remember something. Is she in Azkaban? How, how could you know that? I don't know, I just remember. I must have read about it. Is it true? Yes. It's true. Mom's a witch. So when Dad was arrested, she tried to help, but only ended up scaring a bunch of muggles. She didn't mean to hurt anyone. The Ministry still accused her of being part of Not Me and sent her to Azkaban. All because it's illegal to perform magic in front of muggles. It's a stupid law. I'm sorry we can't change the law, but we can keep your secret. We won't tell a soul. We promise. That's right. And if Cassandra thinks she knows something, we'll just have to make sure she forgets it. I might know an advanced memory charm we can use. Thank you. That means a lot. Come on, we better get back. If Filch catches us, it'll be detention. Or worse. What about Cassandra? But we still never found what she was looking at. Whatever it was, we'll find it later. Come on, let's go.
Second Senpa. Stupid fat rat yellow. Oh. Large you live your star. Keep going, mate. Don't give up. Night to eight three. Sunshine, Daisy, buttermellow. Turn this stupid fat rat yellow. Oh. Large you live your star. Keep going, mate. Don't give up. Night to eight three. Sunshine, Daisy, buttermellow. Turn this stupid fat rat yellow. Oh. Large you live your star. Oh. Keep going, mate. Don't give up. Night to eight three. Sunshine, Daisy, Buttermellow, turn this stupid fat rat yellow. Oh. Large, you'll 
Leviosa! Keep going, mate. Don't give up. You're starting an art club, Lottie? I'm trying to, but so far the response has been... less than enthusiastic. Some seem interested in picking up a brush, but the second I mention researching the Hogwarts portraits, their eyes always glaze over. You just have to show them how interesting it can be. Know of any portraits with tragic backstories, depictions of unsung heroes? Come to think of it, yes. If you're not too busy, could I take you on the rounds to get your feedback on a few options? I'm quickly realizing that my idea of interesting is very different from most. Of course, Lottie. Anything to help get your art club off the ground. Let me drop off my books and I'll meet back up with you. I think... I think... Well, if I'm being frank, sorry. I could see how you'd feel that way at first glance, but why don't... Are there two wands in her hand? Yes! Good catch! This is a portrait of Ethelgrader Bloodworth. We discovered that her fiancé was pursuing the dark arts in order to get revenge against the Muggles who killed his mother in the witch hunts. It depicts the moment immediately after she was forced to raise her wand against... I can't imagine how conflicted poor Ethel Drader must have felt. It's no wonder she looks so upset. I've always said that we can learn a lot about the past, present, and even the future from portraits, if we're willing. Well said, young witch. It has been quite some time since a student took such interest in us portraits. Not since that... Simon Talmadge, lad, I believe. Simon? Did you say... Gosma, you know who Lady Ethel Drader's talking about? Oh, yes, we're the best of friends. Or, rather, we were, 183 years ago. Oh, for some reason, everyone tends to suddenly remember stuff they have to do when I come around. But not Simon. We talk and play for hours. I... Wait a moment. Did you say there's a secret room behind the painting? Not just a room, a whole corridor full of them. That sounds perfect for your art club, Lottie. Gossamer, where exactly is this hype? I'll show you. Come, come. This painting is a corridor full of rooms, each grander than the last. 
Though it seems different from what I remembered. This is exactly what I need to drum up interest in my art club, Gosma. Sorry, I just can't shake the feeling that something's missing from this painting. Now, what did you say again? I asked how we get the painting to open up. Oh, that? Haven't a clue! <laughs> how do you not know? It's your third favorite hiding- Yes, but it's not as if I've actually had to use the door, being a portrait and all. Though I do vaguely- I wonder if you have to say a password or perform some sort of action to enter, like you do to get to the house common rooms. Why don't we ask the nearby portraits if they remember anything? If Simon's as memorable as Ethel Drader made him seem, it's possible we could pick up a clue or two. Simon Tamage and his friends came here often. A rather eclectic lot, if my memory serves. It's my understanding that they commandeered the hidden space behind the painting for their clubhouse. Do you have any idea how they were able to get in? The only thing I could... Oh, that's right! There was a sleeping dragon in this painting before. Simon added it to this otherwise boring old landscape. I can't believe I forgot! Simon Talmadge? I always thought the boy was a bit off. Once, I caught him staring at the painting you're talking about. He kept mumbling the Hogwarts school motto, Draco Dormiens Nunquam Titillandus, over and over to himself. I thought he had gone mad. I cannot say I was surprised when I heard what had happened to him. Oh, uh, excuse me. Simon Talmadge. Now there's a name I haven't heard in ages. Poor lad had such a hard time fitting in, and the other kids bullied him for it. Got so desperate for someone to confide in that he made friends with us. Of course, being... Those kids even destroyed his paintings once. He was really upset, so I showed him this hiding spot to cheer him up. He was so excited to turn it into his own private art studio, but Gwydion... Gwydion he always managed to rope Simon into doing the same too. He was real charismatic that way. So we know that this painting used to be a landscape before Simon added a sleeping dragon onto it, that the dragon would laugh before the door opened. That Simon had a notoriously rebellious friend, and that he was overheard mumbling... Draco Dorm... Everything seems to point to the dragon being the key to getting inside. But where could it be? Perhaps it's been hidden. Let's take a closer... Oh. Oh! The sleeping dragon's back! But unfortunately, the passageway's still locked. What do you think we should do next? Portraits reported hearing Simon repeat, Draco Dormin's numquan to Delandus over and over. 
Sounds an awful lot like a password, doesn't it? Draco Dormians Numquan Titalandis. Draco Dormians Numquan Titalandis. Draco Dormian. Maybe you're not saying it right. Oh, the sleeping dragon's back! But unfortunately, the passageway's still locked. What do you think we should do next? If I had to guess, I'd say we probably need to wake the dragon up. Gossamer. Oh, why me? Is it because I have the sort of cheery, upbeat voice that people love to hear first thing in the morning? Rise and shine, you overgrown lizard! You've got sheep to pillage and villagers to burn to the ground! Maybe I should just slay the dragon instead. I am a knight, after all. And it is our duty to rid the world of foul beasts. Oh, the sleeping dragon's back! But unfortunately, the passageway's still locked. What do you think we should do next? Draco Dormian's Numquan to deliver, and that he had a rebellious streak. It worked! <laughs> You're so clever. Agreed. Nice thinking. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go in!
It's empty? That can't be! Last time I was here, it was full of Simon's paintings, Gwydion's experiments... I'm so sorry, Gossamer, but it has been almost 200 years since you last saw them, hasn't it? A lot can change in that amount of time. You don't understand! This place was never supposed to change! If you don't mind me asking, what exactly was this place? our clubhouse. No, not just that. It was our place, where no one would bother or bully us. We could do whatever we... So it was a safe space? Actually, now that I think about it, that's exactly what Gwydion called it when he pitched the idea to Simon. A safe space for anyone who doesn't belong. Originally, it was just for me, him, and Simon. To this place means so much to you. It was somewhere you could truly be yourself. I never really thought about it like that, but yes, yes, I suppose it was, wasn't it? It was supposed to be here for anyone who needed it, long after we were gone! I suppose that's why it's... Oh, Bosma! I wish there was something we could do to... What if we clean the place up? It won't bring his friends back, but it might be easier for Gossamer to cope if this space doesn't look so abandoned. What's this? That's a great idea. Let's do it now so we can surprise Gosma when he gets back. Run down was making you, so we tidied it up. It's not mine. 